Hey folks, how's it going man? I'm Loki, you know what I mean? The world's most fucking ranting raving lunatic on the newsfeed. Anyway, I don't just rant and rave on the newsfeed, I've got a lot of other things going on as well. Just wanted to talk about tonight, right? We've got probably the most revolutionary hip hop crew in history, Public Enemy, touching down in Glasgow tonight. And supporting them, we've got probably the most revolutionary hip hop band in Scottish hip hop history, Hector Berserk. So let's just have a wee minute to talk quickly about uh, what's going to happen tonight. But first, I just want to cast your mind back to a couple of months ago. It was the Scottish uh, um, Album of the Year Awards, right? And Hector got into the shortlist, and deservedly so. But what happened that night? What happened? Well, that night, a group called Young Fathers, don't get me wrong, very, very talented group. A group called Young Fathers uh, won Scottish Album of the Year. Now, some people say, might say, well, that's fair enough, isn't it? I mean, that's cool. I say, nah, fuck that. Because look how much work has been done in the hip-hop culture in this country for hip-hop to even get to that level, right? For hip-hop to even get recognised at that level. So, if hip-hop is going to win something for the first time in a Scottish Album of the Year award, then why did they choose a hip-hop crew who openly renounce their Scottish accent and their music? This isn't about nationalism. This is about the freedom to be who you are and that to be enough. I believe Hector Berserk deserve to win that and I'm sure a lot of you do too. And that draws out a serious fundamental issue about culture in this country and some of the people's motivations um, for voting yes, for example myself as an artist. One of the reasons I'm voting yes is because I love the idea of not being a niche kind of novelty thing outside of what's going on. I love the idea of being able to talk the way that I talk and that to be enough. However, I've realised now the voting yes is not going to be enough to achieve that because even within the yes thinkers, there is still two different ways of looking at culture and life in general and that is because of the backgrounds that people come from. It means they have different concerns, different things. So me being angry is seen as kind of uncivilised or edgy. However, it's the same for things like graffiti. Now think about it, right? Think about it. You've got to adopt the values of the dominant class in order to ascend culturally. How many graffitis out there have got freedom to just go about and paint? None. If you do that, you're a vandal. Yeah, you're a vandal. So, how do you stop being perceived as a vandal? You take a commission. For who? The council. You take a commission for the council. The same council that are running the Commonwealth Games in this city. The same council who thought demolishing the Red Road Flats was a good idea for global entertainment. That same council. Now, what the council represent is that established way of looking at it. So it doesn't matter if they're yes or no or anything. They can't perceive anything other than their own experience and what they think should be culture and what they think is appropriate and that's why with a lot of the art that's been published around the independence referendum it has a wee bit of a kind of Scottish National Party feel to it it has a wee bit it's drawing out important issues but at the same time believe me sometimes it can be difficult getting uh, getting the real stuff out there who's talking about Gaza? Who's talking about child abuse allegations at the heart of Westminster? These are supposed to be our artists, but they are actually, in many ways, polemically impotent from addressing the core issues, whether they even identify them or not. Well, I say we're different hip-hop people. I say we're different activists. I say that we have the balls to speak out. When our back's against the wall, we turn around and write on it. So we need to come together and we can do that tonight. Public enemies in town, we're going to be gathering at River, which is the old bar fly. And it's just going to be hip hop playing all night. 
maybe an open mic or whatever, but it's just going to be tunes on all night and we just want to use it as an opportunity to talk to each other and maybe organise something. We don't need to create a movement, we've not got time or the resources to do that, but I've got a lot of things moving just now and I want to create a platform for artists to publish work without any restrictions on what they can say. Artists to go and behave autonomously and just be artists, but with the focus in mind of raising these issues leading up to this referendum. So it's time to step up and be counted. I know some of you don't think much of me. Some of you think I'm a pain in the ass. Some of you think I'm an egomaniac. Some of you are all spot on. You're brand new. You're right. But there's more to me than that. And you come along here tonight, I'm going to show you exactly what I know about this referendum, I'm going to show you exactly what I know about how culture works in this country and I'm going to share with you my vision for how we can address that, how we can get in about it, rattle cages, ruffle feathers, so that we ourselves can make ourselves known and heading into this referendum, when it is a yes vote, then we can actually have a proper cultural revolution in this country. Not just talking the language of it, but be actual troublemakers, be actual pains in the arse, and actual dicks until people concede that there are more important things in life than talking about the colour of flags and the colour of fucking fireworks. Tonight, after Public Enemy, three quid with your ticket stub, five quid without it, 50% of that money goes to show your teeth. Come down, let's use all our energy, all our frustrations and channel it. Let's unite under one banner, folks. Right? Show your fucking teeth. Peace.